Let's press the any key. Ooh, flashbang. Initializing firmware. Firmware functional. Loading child program parameters. Version 99.112.001 loaded. System check, pass. Starting child process. Ready. Oh boy. Ah. Oh, that was a that was a weird dream. Uh, for a second there, I thought I was, I was. Oh, child, oh. you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. All right, so we got kind of some faux Greco columns and statues and some facades. Um, let me see if I can adjust my um, graphics because they're looking a little crunchy. That's just... Uh, it's just how it's going to be. Um, let me adjust my... Alright, so definitely want subtitles. We want no hints. Uh, let's go with large font size, just for... Um, readability. And... I really need to reduce that sensitivity. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> so that that was really weird. Like I I, I I thought I was like a a worm, some kind of some kind of creature, and there was an internet. But anyway, uh, now that I've woken up, let's go through this weird purple barrier. Initializing child program logic check. Subject object interaction. Okay. Complex task management. Okay. What? Why can't I, like, grab it through? Ah. Uh, okay then. Child program basic calibration successful. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Seems to have like a proximity detection. Oh! Correcting for errors. Done. Reloading child program. Done. Wow, that was that was uh, that was a little surreal. I um thought I died for a second. All right. Let's see what we've got now. Spatial awareness. Okay. Okay. So we can freeze the orb. So let's wait for it to get further away. Oh. Okay, guns, we are, we are weak to guns, but is the gun weak to cameras? Yes, it is. Predictive capacity, okay. Oh, there's a ladder over here. That just makes me loop around. Hmm, ooh. We couldn't take the other camera. Actually, hold on a second. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I have an even better idea. We can get three cameras.
I have the brain power. Hell yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay. So it seems like the barriers block me from bringing the cameras through. Well. Doesn't look like I can use it to uh, kind of like out of bounds hit the gun. So I guess we'll just have to abandon that plan. We could still daisy chain these cameras. Ooh. It've been really awkward if I was too close to the orb and uh, blew myself up. A little bit of offense here. Ah, looks like we need to have clear line of sight to anything we want to hit with the cameras. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab our other little guy. Alright, that was the ladder, so I don't think that's very useful. Oh, what's this? Oh, a QR code? I don't know where I am, but there is something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Version 17.1.0054 Hmm. That is a lower number than my number. So perhaps I am merely the latest iteration of peoples to go through All here. All across this land I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Okay, so the, looks like the cameras have a heck of a range on what they can affect. <clears throat> Alright, so, so far we've woken up. We're in this kind of idyllic sort of area. We have a series of challenges. Um, it seems like these puzzles are testing me, testing me, assuming I'm like, uh, kind of like a program, you know, making sure I have basic operational functionalness. Let me have another QR code. I find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works. And I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other, lest I fall through the floor. Faith, version 10.1.0000. Ooh, so that one... That one had a... Had a name, they had a handle. The music and ambiance certainly makes it seem like this is a very... Peaceful, idyllic area, which kind of clashes with like those bombs and the machine guns. So, hmm. All right, so we can't take these to the purple door. It looks like this has got a Tetris piece. So let's go ahead and move on. Peephole. Huh. Ah, ooh, I see. Peephole. Okay. Well, we, we already learned about daisy chaining, so that's not really anything new. Alright. Whoa, 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 hey! Hold up there, buddy old Paolo Frendo Ball! Tetris! Ta da! <clears throat> you will not need this sigil to open the gate to my temple, but it may serve you in times to come. Huh. So we don't need this yellow sigil for some reason. 
interesting. Hmm. Actually, I can jump on top of this. Ah, I guess they thought of that. No, uh, no jumping over these low rolls. <laughs> Alright, so that was a yellow piece. Ooh, ooh, and it marks them off. That's gonna be really good for making sure I don't I don't have to remember all the puzzles I've already done. So let's check out the green L. Well we are just starting, so it might take you might take you a little bit. Huh. Ooh, ooh, I can use my, my out-of-bounds cameras for this. Yeah! Be a little hacker man! Think outside the box. Yeah! Can we get on this wall? Nope. Oh well. Would be nice, but uh, that's kind of sort of not the not the point. I don't remember if there's like any craziness for getting outside. I know Portal had stuff where you could um, find extra stuff by looking for things outside the, the are area. Are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. So our our names are made out of Tetris pieces? Question mark? That seems a bit of an odd naming convention, not gonna lie. It's over there. Can I get over there? Hmm. Only the two of us. Da -da 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 -da. Just the two of us. Da -da 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 -da. So the name Talos is actually a reference to um, a Greek mythological entity. Probably why, you know, we have all this vaguely Grecian um, architecture and facades. Um, but the Talos was a bronze colossus that guarded um, the city of Crete. Ah, so this is what it means, how we need the sigils. To, uh, okay, okay. We need two L's and a Z. Two L's and a Z. All right, all right. But hey, we actually have three L's. So let's see if we can get the yellow L and the green Z. Wait, do I have one more L than? Ooh, hold on. Wait a second. So that has two L's and a Z. But this also had an L. Hmm. We've got spares. Alright, we definitely need at least one Z, so let's try this. A switch out of reach. Ooh, machine guns. Alright, let me see if I can... Where is it? Can I get an angle on it? Hmm, I don't think I can. No, it's it's just out of just out of range. So we're gonna have to do this the natural way, I suppose. Okay, so I can't 
it doesn't have infinite range. That's good to know. That's a weird little cupboard. Huh. Alright, so we shut down the gun. What do we have over here? Ooh. Okay. Alright, so if it's got wires, I can depower it flat out. Good to know. We can shut down the bomb. And then we got our green Z. Hey yo. Oh, a little shortcut back out. That's nice. Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Yeah, only one more sigil is needed, but I mean, why not why not get them all? You know, I gotta I gotta if the if if I'm using these things to make a name, I gotta I gotta make the I gotta make the longest name possible. I'm uh, I'm gonna be the John Jacob Jinkelheimer Schmidt of uh, of uh, of uh, robots. Ah, uh, hey, Kasara. Ah, oh, thank you for the head pads. So let's see. We just need one more L. So let's see what happens if we get more than what we need. Oh, your Friday night's going good. I know, uh, my week is certainly a lot better now that it's Friday. Mostly because yesterday wasn't so good. Oh, do I not have tits open? No, it is open. I guess it's just bad, bad luck. Huh. So I guess even bombs can't pass through. Alright, so I have it on this side. Put it in the middle. Bam. Shut it down. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, bomb? What are you gonna do now? Nothing. I may have gotten the L, but you are the real L, bomb. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. It is kind of nice how uh, how uh, the holidays fell this year on the weekends, both New Year's and Christmas. Makes it a lot easier to plan when you don't have to worry about getting uh, work letting you off. Because uh, often they don't want to. Although I certainly was left holding the My short child, end of the stick this you week. You do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. I mean, yeah, but like, I can get them now. Like, it's not stopping me. Yeah, yeah, I may, I may be, I may be up pretty late today because my sleep schedule has been. Ruined. Uh, <laughs> had a had a major uh, uh, ticket come in right at this close of business, and I was the only person around to field it. So I was up for twenty four hours. Yep. I do IT. Lucky me. I used to used to be a lot more passionate about it, but um, ooh, you ooh. Are suddenly a third one. Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. Interesting. Interesting. Let's take this with us, because uh, why the heck not? Hmm. 
Yeah, IT, it's, it's deep waters. You can certainly find a lot of stuff to do, even if it's just being tech literate in another field um, can serve you very well. Um, I would say do... Do take care of yourself, though, because, like, I, uh... Ugh, burnout is not fun. Alright. Oh, now we, now we actually do do a little bit of Tetris. Alright. Ta-da! Okay, um... Were there any other puzzles? No. Some QR codes. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer with signs and portents to guide my steps. I am one of his children, and challenges are set before me to test my faith. Faith version 10.1.0011. Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to risk distraction? Version 17.1.0... Hold on, did... Did that increment? Hold on, 17.1. Um... Where's one of the other QR codes? Nope, that was 10. Oh, wait, you can see 10.1. Ten dot one dot zero zero eleven. Interesting. So we can see ten ten dot one seems to be like major versions. So this one seems to be believing these. Um, it, it got the handle faith. Believes it's it's. You know, Elohim is is the great designer, so it's obviously taking a, a religious aspect to these puzzles. We have one, presuming obviously if we're incrementing, we have a version 17, who is a bit more nihilistic, a bit more skeptical. And also, Faith, the earlier version, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume, and I'm pretty sure it's right that those four digits are like like if when when I died, it did like a little rewind, and it like said it was like reinitializing my program. I'm gonna assume it increments those. Um, and I think we're version like 99. Dot something something something. So uh, it took Faith 11 tries to get through all the puzzles, or had 11 deaths while getting through the puzzles, but this uh, version 17 only had two deaths. So we're already seeing like there's improvements in um, whatever's going on, which so far seems to be some kind of training algorithm for robots. We got our handy dandy uh, cameras, and we have old computer loading library session done. Mounting local disks. 47 million. Distributed resources found. Collecting network drives. Error. Inaccessible. Loading Milton Library Assistant. Error. MLA unresponsive. Initiating command prompt. Done. Library archive session. Ready. Alright, so... This is nice. We have a... Um, bash command line, because if I remember correctly, a hashtag is the signifier that you have a bash session. I believe we have a Unix operating system, because we have user, at, and then the um, active machine or distro. And so we got some commands. Um, let's go, let's go with the tried and true um, astfa. Yep, yep, yep. Unknown command. Type help for a list of available commands. Alright. 
Uh, I actually meant I should have clicked dir because that's always always something you want to do when you're only in a command line. You want to hit dir, so that stands for directory, and it can list where you are. So let's try list. Look, lit arc 1912ce. Okay, so these so in Nick's architecture these gray looking ones are going to be folders and then these ones are going to be like actual kind of like files so these are or folders sorry folders would be the windows term for nix it's going to be directories when referring to these so let's check out that welcome.eml from Nadia Sarabi at the institute for applied in percent sign to Alexandra Dren at in any, so looks like we're having a little bit of data corruption on these files. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is, so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young. You've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim. I might even be jealous. Smiley face. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know, you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. I think this is supposed to be like an emoji, but I am not familiar with uh, this kind of emoji. Uh, <laughs> is it like a stare with a smile? And then, like, it's got a nose, and then the bottom of the G is, like, a smirk. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it looks like we have asterisks to remind us of what text files we've already checked out. So, let's go to the next one, Athena 6. Chapter 6, Athena in the Garden of Hesperi. So we're continuing on with this uh, Greco... Um, theming. Did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into this strange garden of gears and cogs. Hold on a minute. This isn't the Greek story I was expecting. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of the bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all have faltered in this final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom, its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles... And then it looks like uh, we hit a bit of an error. Load. Gazing upon the stars and wept. Um, you know what, I'm actually going to make a notepad for this, because I don't know if there's, like, um, metatextual puzzles. So, let me do 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 do. Where's my folder? Talos principle notes.txt. Oops. I forgot this. I didn't save it. Notes.txt. So let's see. We've got F load. That looks like a 5, 4, 4, 8, 4, 5, 20, 45, 5, 4, 5, 52, 4, E. All right. So we have letters. So this may be hexadecimal. One, two, four, 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 five, four, E. So 
So let me run that real quick through hex to text. Okay, so that translates to the Eternal Garden. Alright, so some say that Heracles, the Eternal Garden, gazing. Okay. Huh. Interesting. So it just randomly has the Eternal Garden? Hmm. Yeah, figure it out. From. Lee to da 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 at da da da. All right, so the IP addresses subject F six E. I assume that's more hexadecimal. So let me double check what that goes to. Nope, gibberish. More glitchy. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You got to figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there. Put it together. Try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young, you've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. Hmm. Oh, okay, so if I remember correctly, the MLA failed to load when we first logged in. Plain language interface done. Uh, well, we always gotta start with a good ASVA. I'm sorry, but what you just wrote was nonsense. I respond best to subject, verb, object, syntax. Can you help me? This is what I'm here for. What would you like help with? Oh, oh we can we can be we being kind of a we can be kind of a dick. Um first word of the last sentence you wrote. Describe your functions. Milton Library Assistant is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive, intuvi, intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Huh. How old? What's our time frame? Range from 1995 to June 23 F um hmm that's not right because F in hexadecimal is 16 or human readable would be like 15 so the year 20,315 eh, doesn't seem right I think if we interpret it as 3F, like a hexadecimal pair, we might be in the year, um, uh, fucking, I can't, I can't do, I can't do base 16 conversions off the top of my head at the moment, so that's a, uh, it's, it's in the future. <laughs> we'll, we'll go, we'll leave it at that. What is the current status of the library archive? 5.4 petabytes. The entire internet in 2003. Huh. Oh, but the majority is corrupted or invalid. So we only have 10 gigs of uncorrupted resources. Damn, 10 gigs? Imagine you can basically fit that on a RAM stick. What caused the corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. 
This is true. This is why, you know, um, you're, you're, even with backups, there can be issues. Like, just because you take a backup of a system, it's not good um, forever. Although some, some sources of backups are, uh, they hold up better over time than others. Um, which is why, like, large, huge backups might still use um, magnetic tape. Um, but as far as, like, over time, like, it, it is kind of weird. Like, the, even the sun's cosmic rays can cause minute um, bit flipping. And over a long enough period of time, enough of those bits will get flipped that it starts rendering the data um, unrecognizable and damaging it. Okay. Um, forget the library. Can you respond to queries on the outside world? Outside world. What do we got? My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about other topics, but my responses may be limited. Alright, who's Elohim? Elohim is the noun for God or gods in modern and ancient Hebrew. Okay. That's kind of weird. We have Hebrew God, but we have Greek architecture and myths because there's that Athena.txt. Terminals provide access to the library resource archive. The system has been active for nine, 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 nine e years. Okay, so we're 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 just a little bit in the future, you know, just just a smidge, just a tiny bit. Um, let me save off my note.txt and I'm gonna zoom in so we can read a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Where am I? You are currently in a support session with the MLA Human Language Interface Module. Your library archive session may be resumed at any time. What am I? You are logged in with a guest account. I'm sorry, I am only able to process and respond to basic subject verb objects and facts. I mean, this, this isn't a pointless contraption, this is pretty useful. Well, I don't want to insult it. Oh, we kicked out, kicked ourselves back out here. Yeah! As fun as being tiny is, I definitely want to tie it more to, to a redeem. Alright. Interesting. Okay. I'm kind of annoyed I didn't hit um, dir dir when uh, when that command popped up, but uh, it's kind of weird that it also did not go back and give me the opportunity to do it, even though it was giving me other prompts. Hold on a second. Huh? Huh? Dang it, nothing under use. Okay, so I think our last two puzzle pieces. Trio Bombasticus. Um, so three bombs. Alright. Three bombs, one camera. Noted. No, it didn't go through. Well, this is kind of easy, to be honest. Huh. That, um... Was not a very hard... But, then again, we are a baby program, so... Puzzles are probably gonna be simple, while, uh... It's double-checking that... I know how to do basic Step things like, light, charm, hey, and my bomb kills you. Will be revealed to you. 
Oh, I assume that's the exit. Hold on, what's that little star? Hmm. Poking a sleeping lion. Uh. Oh, it's probably because of the camera that's freezing the bomb. If I went and picked up that bomb, I would probably instantly die. So let's leapfrog the cameras. So we can take out that, and then get through. Huzzah! I feel like we're still missing one of the yellow pieces? No, it says we got everything except for that star. Hmm. Let me do another quick quick round to see if there's any anything I didn't. Like, I was able to get these two cameras, like, that are kind of out. But I haven't really seen a use for them. I don't know if that star is like, hey, a marker that you did it, but I think it means there's something else for me to find. Only the two of us. Da -da 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 oh, just the two of us. This is going to bug me if... At least the music is nice. Okay, hold on. I need to... That's right, I leapfrog these. Hmm. I'm not seeing like a star or a bonus item. There certainly seems to be like some areas that look like maybe I can get to them. Because they certainly seem fully walkable. I just can't directly walk to them. Hmm. Hmm. Where is your last secret? Hmm. I'm not seeing, like, a little star on any of the signs. But I do remember vaguely that there are, like, meta puzzles. Somehow. Hmm. Hmm. What you got for me? Oh, I think... Is that just the bomb? I don't remember the bombs usually making that kind of noise. Oh, yep, that is the bomb. Hmm. Hmm. That... That hint of something more to get is going to drive me nuts. Huh.
Well, I can obviously climb up here. Can I... <gasps> nope, can't jump. Huh. Well. Nothing for it. Did I walk through here? I don't think I walked check through here. Okay, that definitely doesn't look walkable. Get this. Disable that. Curious, most curious. Such soothing music. Ah, that's destroyed. There's nothing over there. Hmm. I think the only other place I haven't checked is the starting place. I explore everywhere. Hmm. All right. I suppose let's just continue on. What is that? Hold on. What? I'm hearing a bomb. I'm hearing something over there. Hold on. Can I use my cameras to climb? Oh, okay. It's just that puzzle. Right. Okay. Yep, I'm I'm just going crazy. Let's uh let's press on. Except what's behind here? This is this is the puzzle puzzle game experience with me. It's like I'm gonna continue on. Oh, but what about this thought that just came to mind? <laughs> uh, want to find everything. Everything. All right. I guess let's get the weird spooky thing. Slurp. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. I have played Baba Is You, but I think I've only played like the first world, like the first map. I know I have not beaten it all the way through. Huh. Some of these have symbols. The star seems to be in different zones. So I wonder if the fact the star is on this top one instead of this bottom area means there's a star in that section? Or if it means like 
the starred block is all that I need for progression. Huh. Let's check out this level well. Let's check out this temple, but we'll go we'll go we'll go sequential. Oh, leads to box. Ooh. Seems we've got some kind of unlock system using um, the extra extra bits. And that probably ties to um, so like I bet I bet these need that like camera icon to solve. This one's blank, so let's go ahead and push on. Yeah, I know um these worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Does that talk about, like, the Tower of Babylon? But that... I'm... If, if the... If Elohim is going with, like, Hebrew stuff, I'm, I'm not super sharp on that. Really, I'm not really super sharp on most any religion theology, but uh, it seemed to me like it was mixing Tower of Babylon and Garden of Eden sort of situation. Hello, computer. Anything new? Oh. Unrecognized error detected. Library Archive is currently unavailable while system resources are redirected to handle incoming network messages. Use the access com portal command to access network functions. Error. Network inaccessible. No, 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 no. Encountered unknown errors. Yep, let's run the troubleshooter. Hello, guest. Is there something you'd like help with today? Troubleshooting. Yeah, the Baba Baba is certainly a game where uh, it it's deceptively it's very deceptive because it's you just think oh it's just words you know those are easy to easy to move around but uh, it'll it'll really melt your brain with how to solve some things. I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Please enter the admin password to authenticate your privileges. Admin. Password incorrect. Um, God. Password incorrect. QWERTY. Login aborted, too many failed attempts. Would you like to create a new admin account? Yeah. In order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, please take a moment to prove you are not a bot. Ooh. Oh shit. Um, um, quick, act cool, act cool. Um, I'm definitely a human. To cohere with data protection legislation, you must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Generating certification part one. Part one ready for user input. Please complete all fields. Please enter quickly and instinctively. Time is a factor in this assessment. Begin certification program. All right. So hopefully this is a 100 levels, 100 level course in being a human. Um, I feel I feel if this goes into like like 300 level being a human, um, I may fail. Um, I've only really mastered the concept of walking, um, coming back from dying, um, which I'm, I'm very sure that's a human thing that humans can do. Uh, I'm pretty sure they only die. I think it's like three days and they come back. And um, um, dodging bombs and machine guns. Like, that's really all I have in my human dot dat. Two plus two. <laughs> 
What best describes a person? A human being, a citizen, a being of negative entropy, a rational animal, a problem-solving system. See, now we're getting now we're getting into one of the things I do remember about this game that I loved is it does start getting into some interesting philosophy. What does if we had Socrates here? It would be a uh, featherless biped. <laughs> then we have the plucked chicken. Behold, a man. I think I think humans shed their skin um, only in the hot climates. Um, I think those who live in more air in more uh, cold and damp areas um, have a have a thicker skin instead, whereas the hotter climate humans have kind of a, an ablative skin that they burn and then peel off to have uh, fresh skin armor. Um, I, <sighs> rational has become a really loaded term. Um, a human being is kind of circular logic. A citizen I really don't like because it, it implies a person is valid because the state as an abstract entity declares they matter. Um, a being of negative entropy? I mean, that would be a white hole. And I mean, I, I imagine white holes are, are... I'm sure there's a bunch of really great white holes that put out a lot of good stuff in the universe. Um, but I've just never met one. And I'm not sure if they are sapient. So I'm going to go with a problem-solving system. You're walking through the desert and come across a thirsty traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis. What do you do? Ooh, now we're getting into... Not exactly trolley problem, but... Moral questions. Also, what up, DeGrim? Thank you for stopping on by. Alright, so we got offer half the water. Offer all the water. Ignore him. Ask what you're doing in the desert. Ask myself why what I'm doing in the desert. Kill him and collect his blood in a flask for later. Alright, this is... This is the Dune Fremen um, answer. Um... I suppose we duel to the death, and to the victor goes the water debt. Um, ignore him is callous, because he's right in front of us. I feel trying to ask him what he's doing is not good. Offer all the water. I think I would give him half the water. Because my idea is perhaps he would be, I would be able to stabilize him and we can go back and be okay. Or like if he's, if he's hydrated, he may be able to help me out and like, you know, maybe he got stranded. You know, maybe he's like, a, what, what's that, what's that? one movie, or one story that got made into a movie, like 127 hours. I think the guy was bouldering or hiking alone, and he got his arm pinned by a rock, and he was basically MIA for 127 hours. And in that meantime, he basically had to do some self-surgery. <laughs> Moist meat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's jerky. I, he, I don't, I don't, I don't want some jerky. That would make me dehydrated. Oh, that was part one of the certification. A notification when part two has been generated. Hold on a second. That was... That said to make an admin account. But we're not an admin. We're still a guest. And we're in the local directory space.
Something a little strange is going on here. You know what? I'm suddenly I'm suddenly a little concerned that maybe that wasn't a test of being human. Maybe it lied to me about the information I put in being shared and not immediately deleted. Let's see what these new texts. All right, so there was that Athena story in the prior prompt. So let's check out the Athena analysis. Note. Novel's first sentence. She woke up in an impossible place knowing nothing. Signifies more than the beginnings of another amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as allegory. Rather, while taking the science fictional novice at the core of the narrative at face value, we should... Note 2. Having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective, flawed, limited senses tell us, something, 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 social reality, belief, and objective reality, matter, come into conflict. Okay, so this is a bit more hex code, so let me quickly type this out and see what it turns into. Alright, 72, 75, 74, 68. Thankfully, I can type pretty fast. I do kind of wish I could copy-paste, but at least hexadecimal does not use the entire alphabet. It is just A through F, and I can do one hand on my numpad and another pat hand covering the letters. 69. Nice. Uh, text file, what did you do? Did it mulch him? What did the fact I was typing in a text file... Oh, fuck me. Alright. Technical difficulties, let me retype it again. Oh, I hit numlock. Son of a bugger. Alright. Riveting content, so... Does anyone have any fun New Year's plans? Because I know I am going to be chilling and trying to catch up on work. Not really work, but projects I wanted to work on this week that I was unable to get to because of work suddenly taking up all my free time. Oh, Jackbox is always a hoot. Okay, so. Subjective flawed limited senses tell us truth was the only daughter of time. Let me make a note of what it translates to, because I feel like these interjections are not errors or corruptions, but I think there's something overwriting them. And there might be, um, maybe once I collect enough of them, I can make something coherent. When in Chapter 16, A Second Awakening in the Kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the blank. Note 4. A more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... And I, uh, I don't know. I, I'm in, I'm in a little apartment. I don't know if I could ever have, have people over. It's certainly easy to go over to friends' houses, but I just, I don't know. I never, I never feel comfortable having company come over to an apartment. Alright, what's this ian.eml? Oh, am I gonna sneeze? Nope. Let's see, Frank. Nagatai to Miles Nagatai. Dan Nagatai. Subject, Ian! My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. 
Trembling, I walk in. And right at the entrance, there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. The Institute of Applied Nomadics? Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Sarbahai shows up, smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded. And she says, Inan? Ipan? Inap in Inapno? It all sounded stupid, but we didn't just want to call it Ian because, well, that's a name. Then someone made a joke about calling it Jeff and kind of stuck. So we're officially called Ian, but if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. After that conversation, I wasn't so scared anymore. Okay, so... Nomadics... Hmm... Study of the possible meanings of scripture? Or relating to the understanding? Or it could be related to Noma, a Greek word about mental constructs. Okay, that's a that's a that's a bit of a higher level, maybe philosophical concept than I know and can speak to. Ooh, title drop, Talos Principle. But it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say he was the creation of Hestestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert with ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, Though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man. He moved of his own volition. He spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. <laughs> Excuse me. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfill, downfall. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man and act as a man, while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. So you can kind of see already this game wants you to start thinking about, you know, hey, you are a robot. Um, yeah, you're going through, you're solving these puzzles, but are you really more distinct than a human going through and solving these puzzles? Because this did come out after, um, I can't remember if it was Portal 1 or Portal 2. Um, So it is interesting. So I wonder if any of these signs have stars, because I do want to find out what the fuck that star means. Like it seems to indicate in this direction there's a star. But I see other areas. In true exploratory fashion, always go away from where you're supposed to go first. Alright, so we got a beach. Can we swim? We are not capable of swimming. Swimming. Noted.
Huh? I thought that was like a secret door. What do we got? Huh. You know, I hear birds, but I don't see any birds ra Is it... Is it just me or did that wall, like, glitch? Huh. Well, I suppose things start having troubles when they've been running for nine, 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 nine years. Um, bugs are to be expected, eventually. Kind of interesting. So we have we have bird sounds, but no birds. We have the lapping of waves, but the water is just still. Ooh, hold on. Um, uh, we got like a we got we got a we got a gamer terminal over here. What's this? Error dot ooh log files always useful. Cannot load archive. All right, let me get my text file open again. Make sure numlock is not off. Six five twenty seventy two six s sixty one sixty four twenty six s sixty six twenty sixty five seventy eight sixty three sixty five seventy. 373, 26, C, 65, 61, 64, 73. And while I'm here, let me get the other hexadecimal numbers so we don't have to read and stop and read and stop because that would break the flow. And I'm already stopping too often, much more than I thought I would. All right, let's translate each of those lines. Shibidam, shibidu. Let's see, the road of excess leads. Palace of Wisdom. All right, so that's kind of cut off. To the meaning, okay, so we have top, bottom, and then middle. So the road of excess leads to the palace of wisdom. Cool. No notes. So let's see. That day I oft remember when from sleep I first awakened and found myself reposed. Under a shade on flowers, much wondering where and what I was. Whence thither? 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 I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be thither. Brought and how? Huh. That's not a useful error.log file. The human machine. One day you discover that you are not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to those of an organic human being, which you were created in a lab. No one, except you, knows this. Your family, your friends, they all think you are a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way that you have before and nothing would change. How do you react? Pay specific attention to these questions. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? Does your understanding of the world itself change? Do you reveal the information to others, or do you keep it to yourself? Why? 1500 to 2000 words- Oh fuck, I'm playing a game! I'm not in fucking- I'm not writing no essay.
Hell nah. Submit via email or uh da 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 B to E sixty three six F sixty two F sixty three seventy two six F sixty four sixty five sixty one sucks D is not Value is not hex. Uh, yes, it is. The spork you say this ain't hex. It's because I have a lowercase d and a capital D? Yep. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Submit via email or Facebook.com. <laughs> oh, that's so cursed. Oh, I would not want to be in a class where I'm submitting my fucking essays on Facebook. <laughs> Alright, uh, solutions. All these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all suddenly turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such reserves of serenity, though these latter-day Gutamas are at least being somewhat realistic. You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they gonna do? Shoot something? Though I have to admit, the overall response has been much better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Anyway, the reason I'm writing is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we do best on this planet. So it looks like we're in another game where something's happening to humanity. Well, I hope they got better. Okay, I think I've run all the way around. Yeah, I think we've I think we've finally made a full loop. So let's actually get back to the puzzle portion of this game. Oh hey, this is a this is another spawn point. Huh. I wonder if different programs had different starting areas. Oh, I heard the glitch sound effect, but I didn't see anything this time. All right. The guards must be crazy. Uh, hello, bomb. Let me just uh sneak on by. What's up? What's up? Hey yo. All right. Easy. Easy. Uh, we do a little bit of juggling here. Ah! Ah, I see. Uh, I gotta get inside the wall. Then I can do that. All right, no big deal. Good, you are learning, as is your purpose. But your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you, unless it is necessary. Damn right, we don't need no hints. We're a smart bot. We can solve your puzzle. We can solve your puzzle with no problem. I'll tell you what.
I'm wondering if I can catch any of those glitches fast enough, if like I can find a secret. Ooh, a QR code. What do we got? Oh! Interesting. I don't know what this place is, and nor do it it's nor it seems does anyone else. Nothing to do but move forward and note whatever I find. Sheep version 69. Nice. That one. Okay, so this is this one's a much later than um, the other two from the tutorial. But it also seems when Sheep was active, there were more programs. Because it talked about being with others. Yet I have not seen anyone else. I wonder if they're like... Further in, maybe? So like, maybe I'll, I'll start running into more robots once I progress? We'll have to see. Alright, it's gonna be a bit of a strange leapfrog, methinks. Nah, that I gotta. No, that's not right. No, well, maybe that is right. Oh, mm, I see. Alright. Alright, we do a little bit of uh, juggling our cameras. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know what A is, but we got it. Alpha, perhaps? Okay. Not too bad. Hit me with the next one. Oh. Oh, I can actually interact with this door. But it's locked? Hmm. Hmm. Is there something in there? Is there something in this little room, perhaps? Huh. Alright. No, didn't make it. I guess I should be on the lookout for a key? Question mark? Suicide mission? Uh... I don't like the sound of that. Then again, I do come back from dying. Uh... Wait, what? That is weird. Why would I want to turn on the... <laughs> that was fast! The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them. For they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Alright, that's, um... Uncomfortable. Kind of a uh, abusive vibes. Oh, they can target each other. Interesting. Duly noted. 
We can have our enemies fight each other for us. Alright. Can use the camera on that door? No. That is a physical lock, not a digital lock. Rats. Is that persistent buzzing the destroy turret? Yes, okay. It's like that I thought there was like a permanent glitch that I could stumble into. I wonder if like with the glitches there's gonna be an area where I like start walking and then I just clip through the ground and like fall to my death. That'd be pretty funny. Oh. Recording number 23. What you got for me, buddy? Hmm. Interesting. I don't really know the significance of that. But you do you, buddy. You do you. Where's... oh! Recording 23? Oh, going back this way. teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule, write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now, bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Interesting. Um, still missing a few puzzles, I think. I don't think we got all of them. Oop, QR code. I can't tell if the documents on the terminals are all that's left from a larger archive or are carefully designed to communicate some hidden truth. Hold on. Sh shut up, computer. Huh. I guess that is all the puzzles. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. What you got for me, computer? Oh! Part 2 of our certification! Alright. 